factor came about when I read an article in some newspaper about the uh, lack of brass bands and how they were dying out. So I sat down with my dad one night and said, why don't we do something about it? So we created Brass Factor from a popular talent show and the tradition of brass bands to create an evening as such as happened tonight. I'm very much trying to push my influence on uh, encouraging a new generation of brass band players to come through and change how we view brass bands as not just boring, you know, old traditional music, as fun, entertaining music. I carefully selected the bands. I wanted to aim for local bands. I got as many as I could. Um, after that, I went sort of as close as home as I could get. So Delft, they're only just over the hill. Emily, they're on the other hill as well. So I tried to keep it a local competition in a view of replicating this in other areas and using other local bands. <laughs> Once you get involved with a brass band, you really do see how much you know everybody sort of enjoys what you do as well. It's a sense, real sense of achievement for an individual. They're relaxed. Anything goes. I think it is that intensity that so really sort of gives that buzz about the performance and really makes them thrive and, and it really pulls out the best performances sometimes. If you really thrive as an individual, there's a lot of sort of solo opportunities as well and you can come to the forefront and push your way up the ranks and these top bands are always looking for that young inspiring talent and you never know, one day one of these youngsters at Brass Factor might be that. <laughs> Strong start, strong program. Um, ben, wherever you are, gosh, have you got a future? I was so impressed, honestly. If it was Britain's Got Talent, it might be a total new competition. But I just really, really enjoyed it. Thank you very much indeed. The, the one thing I did really like when, when he was playing that, I looked out to the audience. Next time you see the meerkats on TV, that was you. Everybody in the same direction, at the same height, doing the same things.
we've never been to a sort of brass band competition before. So uh, yeah, it was really enjoyable, really enjoyable. But Alex insisted on a theme for this year to sort of make it new. Queen Simon, Jubilee, James Bond, The Beatles. It's been such an important year, you can't just really miss it out. So we decided to incorporate everything. To actually get to see what you've been organising for two months with Alex as well, it was actually really nice. I think as um, the London 2012 opening ceremony showed, it's very important for Britain to show the rest of the world where we actually came from. And that includes brass banding, the coal mine. <laughs> not just about the musical element, the social factor is incredible. You meet some of your closest and bestest friends because you're there every other week, uh, you know, every week, sorry, practicing with them. And then you get to meet people from other bands and other backgrounds of life. So brass bands isn't just about the music, it's about the culture that it brings as well. You know, you, you learn things about other people. the British flag on stage, the British flag on just right next to the bar. It was just such a nice environment. The British theme was a good idea, obviously with the things that happened this year. I don't think some of the bands quite caught it. I'm not sure where Thriller's British, or Grease, or Superman, or Star Wars. All the, all the best bands are from the north. All the great bands that hit O2, hit the headlines in, in the O2 arena are from the north. We've got the Manchester bands, we've got the Yorkshire bands. It's all about up here. It was a very good opening before that man came in. You were very good. <laughs> Brass Factor, 2012 winners, Hey Dead Senior Band!
My favourite band this evening was um, Heyday Senior Bands. I thought the performance tonight was brilliant, spectacular, so entertaining. Really enjoyable, especially Heyday, so I'm glad they won. Great band, great performance. Winners were good, they entertained, but as far as the band contest, I think Scaremon thought B should have won. I came along this evening to support local and make continue for many years to come. I think my highlight of the evening was seeing all them bands really enjoy themselves. You know, it's not often they get a chance to socialise after a band job, um, stick around, have a you know have a beer with other bands, and really sort of engage with the audience as well. It's quite sort of breathtaking to see how sort of an idea two years ago has led to a sellout crowd in the home of Picture Drop. I'd like to say a massive thank you to sort of Brambles and Longley Farm. Without them backing me, it would never have been possible. The smiles on people's faces says it all for me. I wouldn't have done this for the third year if I didn't think people enjoyed it. And it's just that vibe that everyone does really believe that brass bands has a future. And if I can get that across to sort of the rest of the county, nation, there is a future for brass bands, yeah.